Hey guys, this is Amy with Stick With The Plan, and today we're gonna talk about I was made for this. Stay right here, I'll explain. So glad you joined me today. We're here in the Sanctuary of Faith Church. This is my church in Danville, Kentucky. And I was thinking about the quote from Joan of Arc where she said, I am not afraid, I was made for this. You know, she was so courageous in battle and very brave. She knew what she was called to do and she really executed it. That's what we need to do with our calling from God and what he's asking us to do. You know how he told Joshua, I need you to be <laughs> courageous. I don't need you to fear. I feel that on the inside of us. It's gonna take that to accomplish the plans of God. Uh, a story that happened in the sanctuary just a couple years ago. Jay, uh, my husband, was overseas. He was in Bogota and I was scheduled to fill in for him on a midweek. Well, I came in the door and I saw all these younger guys were here and they started whistling at me and, and hollering and <laughs> saying some rude words. And I thought, oh my goodness, I, I walked back out and asked, um, who are all those guys? And they said, oh, Halfway House came and dropped off two buses of, of young men. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm scheduled to preach tonight. <laughs> and, you know, so I noticed our, our worship team was two really gorgeous girls. John and Shanna were up here leading them in worship. And so I went out to the hallway and I was like, uh, I was talking to a minister we have, you know, uh, Brother Jimmy, he's like a John Wayne of our church. And I was like, you need to speak tonight, not me. <laughs> I said, they're gonna be ready for a show, not a sermon. And, um, you know, he just laughed at me and he said, Amy, God's given you a gift. He said, you have all of their attention. Now go out there and give them Jesus. And I thought, <sighs> so, you know, I came back in the sanctuary. I, I opened up my notes and opened up the Bible. And the message I had was, you know, in order for you to fulfill the plans of God on your life, you're going to have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And I just preached to him. And I didn't look at their faces or mind their expressions. I just did what God had asked me to do. I left fear out in the hallway. And I just became, you know, bold and courageous about it. And to fear not. And, you know, we got through it and I said, you know, you need the Holy Spirit. Come down here. We're going to pray for you. Half of them came down and I believe half of them were genuine. <laughs> but, you know, we can't let fear hold us back. You know, that night I was just tempted to say, you know, forget it. Let someone else do it. I'm intimidated. You know, they're expecting something else. But when God is with us, we can do what feels impossible naturally. I mean, the word, a lot of the times when we see we're not to fear, God will remind us that he's with us. In Isaiah 43, where he says, you know, fear not for I am with you. That's where the strength comes from to do the impossible. I mentioned Joan of Arc to you at the beginning, but you know, she was ready to jump over this wall in war. And she looked at the captains and generals that were with her and just told them, look, I'm going over and I won't look back to see if you're with me. There comes a time when we just gotta be fearless. How God told Joshua, he said, as I was with Moses, I'm gonna be with you. As God's calling you and you feel something big on the inside of you, whether you're opening a new business, writing a book, composing you know, a new song, that there's a strength from within. So don't let fear keep you back. Know that God is with you to do the impossible. And that's how you'll stick with the plans he has for you. So glad you're with me here at my church today. Just reminding you can do anything because God's with you. You were made for this. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to us. Turn on the bell. Leave me a comment. If you're on Facebook, like our page because each week we're going to bring you a brand new video. I'll see you again.